so over this. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to take out butterfly locks. Y'all, I cannot wait to get these things out of my head. I'm so sick of these. I'm so sick of them. I'm sick of seeing them. I'm sick of having this hairstyle for so long. I don't feel like the baddie bee that I know I am. I want a new hairstyle. I'm sick of these. And I'm about to take them out right now um if you watched my last video then you know i haven't been able to take them out because like every time i want to take them out i had something to do or somewhere to be and i didn't feel like taking them out then having to do my hair that day just to look decent to wherever i was going the next day so i kept having to leave them in and leave them in and leave them in then i was gonna take them out sunday and then friday the doctor's office called me talking about we have a doctor's appointment this wednesday we're just calling to remind you and I was like, what? I don't recall making this appointment. <laughs> like, why? Why is this happening? So I had to wait until Wednesday, which is today, to take them out. So when I came back from my appointment, I was like, these are coming out. Also, I wanted to wait until I could get an appointment with my hairstylist to do my hair because I knew I was not gonna feel like doing my hair when I took these out. So I wanted to make an appointment and get my hair straightened because I haven't had my hair straightened or trimmed in like almost three years now. So have not seen my straight hair in almost three years and y'all have never seen my straight hair. So that'll be completely new to y'all, but I cannot wait to get it done on Friday. And it was so perfect too, because first of all, my hairstylist for one, is not even who I'm going to anymore. Because first of all, this girl, she used to do my natural hair. And it's like, you got to chase this girl down to get a freaking appointment. And it, it just shouldn't have to be that. Like, you can't get in contact with her. She doesn't answer her phone. She had a booking link, but now it doesn't work anymore. It's just like, girl, like, I don't even want it done anymore. Not by you. So, yeah. Like, if you're going to be a hairstylist, then be it. Like, should nobody have to chase you down to get a freaking appointment? Like, it doesn't make any sense. So, I was like, oh, I can go to the girl. Because my other hairstylist, the hairstylist I was just talking about, um, she's like 45, 50 minutes from me. And I was like, oh, I can book with the girl that did my braids. Because she's like 30 minutes from me. Which is still a little bit, you know, out of the way. But, like, not as out of the way as my old hairstylist. So, I was like, I can go to the girl that did my nightless braids. So, if you don't remember my nightless braids, which was like, I did a couple videos with them in. Super cute. Love them. I can't wait to get them again someday. But, um, when I went and got them done... She was asking me about my hair because I have a whole bunch of hair. And she was telling me that she did natural hair. And I was like, oh, really? But I didn't know if I was going to end up going to her for um, like my natural hair. I knew I'd be going back to her for braids and stuff because I already had a hairstylist or whatever. But, you know, now since she tripping, I decided to book with her. So I was like, oh, cool. So I think she specializes more in that too. I mean, she still does braids and stuff. But like a lot of the work that she posts on social media is like natural hair. And it looks good. So I was like, oh, I'm booked with you because her work looks really good. She like she knows what she's doing. She looks like she knows how to handle natural hair because y'all let me tell you something y'all need to quit calling yourself hairstylist if you don't even know how to comb hair i'll say that because y'all don't know how to properly comb hair y'all be ripping through because y'all used to being bald headed and used to bald headed folks and you don't care about their hair and you don't care about yours because you bald headed too so you don't know how to comb hair but you call yourself a hairstylist no sweetie you're not learn how to comb hair that's a different story anyway so yeah i was like you know what she's doing when she did my braids she wasn't rough with my like natural hair when she was like combing it or whatever my hair was blown out it was like super big or whatever like she wasn't rough i don't remember anything ever hurting or nothing she was detangling properly i felt her detangling from the bottom up and all that so i was like okay yeah yeah and also this is how i knew i was like she probably like real deal because she was the first person to ever put weave in my head and i didn't hate it i hated every other time somebody has put weave in my head if it wasn't me but she was the only person that i didn't hate my hair i thought it was so cute i wasn't in pain because let me tell y'all i've had some terrible experiences with getting weave because i got weave like maybe one or two times and they were like twists or whatever one of them was crochet twist and the other one was like regular senegalese twist or whatever and both of those times like the first time i was like yeah i'm never doing this again but then the second time i was like okay maybe I'll, I'll try it with somebody else and they messed it up too and i was like oh yeah i'm just never gonna get weave again unless i learn how to do it myself because these folks don't know how to handle hair and i just don't understand it so the first time i got weave the braids were way too tight like way too tight 
like I couldn't even move my eyebrows. And it's like, I know like after a while it loosens up, but it had been like a week and a half and I could not move my eyebrows. Like it would hurt for me to even lay down on my head. Like I couldn't do anything. Well, I took them out. At the end of that week, I already felt bad because I didn't spend my money to get it done. And I was like, I'm just at least trying to keep it in the whole week. At the end of that week, I took them out. Second time I got my hair done, it was some girl. I knew of her, but I didn't know her like that. But my friend at the time, I'm not friends with this girl no more, but my friend at the time had got her hair done by her. And she was like, oh yeah, she's like really good or whatever. And like, I really like my hair. I was like, okay. So I went, tell me why. Them things was so tight. My head, I know, you know, your head can be a little sore, but when I got back home after getting them done, my head was pounding. I was like, okay, it's normal. You know, you just gotta wait it out, let them loosen up. I waited like two or three days and my head was like burning and I don't know why. It was like the back, the nape of my neck, like it was where it was super ridiculously tight at. I told my sister, I was like, can you look back there and like, you know, like see what's going on? And she was like, oh, it's really red or whatever. And I was like, yeah, no. Took him out and guess what y'all? I ran my hand across my head where it was like really painful at it was a whole knot over the sections right there knots in the back of my head from where my scalp had like swole up or something but it was knots in the back of my head and i was like yeah it's not supposed to do that no no so i never got weave again after that until i started doing it myself um i will do twists on myself i i've done passion twists on myself and obviously faux locks i can do on myself but braids i cannot do braids take me way too long i can braid i just it takes me so long because I don't know how to properly hold my hands. I know the technique of braiding, but I don't know how to hold my hands for me to move fast enough. It just takes me too long. So that's when I found her and she did my outlet braids and I freaking love them. And I'm definitely going back. She will be the only person that I let ever do my braids or ever touch my head again, ever. Cause I'm tired of people messing up my head and ripping through my hair. That's another thing that the mother styles did when I got my braids done. This right here with the freaking comb like girl why are you combing my hair like that and you coming from up here you come from the bottom no i booked with the girl that did my knotless braids for friday did my natural hair and i can't wait i'm not even like stressed about it i already know it's gonna be cute she gonna do her thing or whatever because i trust her and i don't trust nobody else and i probably never will because y'all don't know how to comb hair like y'all don't know how to comb hair that was my little mini rant little mini story right quick before we get into this i take these out don't mind all that back there because i'm restocking my lashes because i sold out of lashes like a week or two ago so i'm restocking them right now i had started doing that but then i was like i need to film this video because it's getting late restocking my lashes for my website and for the little booth on saturday i'm not even done with these like i got a lot to do and i gotta make lip gloss like I, I'm, I'm about out of lip gloss too like i bought and i sold out of that so i gotta make up a, a bunch of lip gloss for saturday because people are gonna buy that so that's what that is back there so don't mind that but aren't my lash cases so cute you can see them all glittery and stuff but yeah that's what's going on right now so i'm gonna start taking these locks out of my head and um i'm gonna show y'all how to do it as well so if you want to see how to get these locks out of your head because believe you me i was just as confused as you are then keep on watching also the lip gloss that i have on right now is lip gloss from my website here it is right here the little candy tubes these are the lip candies which are my tinted glosses and then i just have regular lip gloss which is just regular clear gloss and a clear glitter gloss they're in different tubes in these but the tinted glosses are in these cute little candy tubes because i just thought that was cute so yeah these are the lip candies tinted glosses this is juicy watermelon that i'm wearing right now it gives you like a rosy tint if you like a rosy tint to your lips i do then pop this one and it's super moisturizing i literally live by this stuff like i will never go back to any other lip gloss i'm not even saying that just because it's my lip gloss i just literally will not like it's just it's just great and you need it too so go buy it whooshibeauty.com I also have peach tinted lip gloss, like a peachy tint. It's the Georgia peach lip candy. And I also have like a brown, which is the Coco Kisses lip candy. So yeah, go shop those on my website. But okay, let's get started. Cause I'm so ready to get these out my head. I'm so tired of them. Like I'm so tired of seeing them. So what I was thinking, I had watched like some, a few videos. Cause at first I was thinking like, okay, maybe I should cut it from the bottom. But these locks are the length of my hair. Like I can't do that. Cause I don't know exactly where my hair stopped at or where it is. So I can't do that. All right, so they were saying to like find your hair and pull it out. So I'm trying to like, where's my braid at? Like I really don't even see it. See, now I'm scared. Cause I swear to God, if I have to cut my hair, somebody is gonna pay. Okay, there's my braid right there, but how do I, I'm trying to get it out of here. Like how do I get it out? Okay, here it is. So here's my hair right here. Here's my braid. Ooh, I'm so up close. I didn't realize how close I was. So yeah, pulling my hair out, pulling my braid out. Okay. See, I see this isn't funny because why is my hair acting like it don't want to show itself? 
Okay. Okay. So this is my hair right here. This is my braid. I'm going to post a video that I got the best like method from. I'm going to put it in the description so I can give her credit. But yeah, she said to, I don't even remember what her name was, but I have seen her videos before. And then she just said to cut it. Okay. And then just pull out, pull out the rest of it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's what you basically do. Okay. That's really easy. Now the, the part that's going to be aggravating and tedious is taking these little behind braids out of my head. Ugh, okay. So yeah, I'm going to demonstrate on another one and then I'm just going to speed it up or like skip through the rest of this and then I'll come back when I have like a few left or just come back when I'm completely done. So find my braid. Okay. There she is. Come on out of there. Boom. So here's my braid right here. And then you just cut the um, passion twist hair. Make sure I don't cut my head now because maybe a tantrum will be thrown. And then you just pull the rest out. Boom. I don't know if this will be a style that I will do again because I'm really sick of them. And they just like mat up against each other over time. And like, ooh, that is aggravating. So, okay. Well, I can't wait to take these braids out. Okay. So I can do one more. I'll do one more for y'all before I start fast forwarding and speeding up and all that. These nails are really helpful because I can like stab through my hair or whatever. Or like scoop up under my braid and like separate it from the other hair. But anyway, so pull my hair out. Okay, pull my braid out. Here's my braid right here. Full lock hair or a passion twist hair. And then cut. That is very dangerous, like cutting that close to my freaking hair. And then just pull out the remainder. But yeah, it's literally that simple. So I'm gonna um, come back. I don't know if I should combine this into like a whole video, me taking them out and then incorporate the vlog into this and me getting my real hair done or just make the vlog of me getting my hair done a separate video. I think I'm gonna just make it one video because I don't see how long this video could possibly be because it's really easy. Like it didn't take me any time at all to do this right here. Not gonna take me time to do the whole thing, but like I'm just saying enough time to demonstrate for y'all. Like it's like, two minutes of footage like we could have did this on instagram story so i think i'm gonna add the vlog of me getting my hair done into this and just make it one whole video but i am going to just speed it up of me doing a few more and then when i'm done i'll show y'all and then i'll show y'all when i take all my braids loose just so y'all can see what my hair looks like before i get it done then we'll jump to friday me getting my hair done oh y'all i did my eyebrows look yeah i like shaped them or whatever i never got my eyebrows waxed they've always been like super full and a little bushy but my cousin and always did them for me like she didn't wax them but she just shaped them with the little razors that you get from the beauty supply store but let me tell y'all something i don't know what this is right here what where you get these at what kind of blade this is but this is the razor that i use for my eyebrows this little blade my cousin gave it to me and she said that she she had like two of them that she gave me because she said that she didn't want to use me anymore because this blade is super sharp and it is but it's so good like it literally got my eyebrows so clean like way cleaner than i've ever gotten it with the beauty supply store razors and i actually shaved my whole face like i used to shave my whole face with those razors but i'm gonna use these i shaved my whole face with this and i did my eyebrows with this like it's so like you barely have to do anything and it like gets all the hair and it's just all clean and crisp but it does cut you very easily i cut myself right here and right here like big cuts but then i had like some nicks like right here right here or all right here see that one right there but yeah, I had a bunch of little nicks everywhere else. So I can see why she quit using them because it is very easy to cut yourself with this. This blade is super sharp, like sharper than the beauty supply store razor. So yeah, this is nothing to play with. So if you know where to get these and you try it out, be careful because even I cut myself and I like never cut myself. Even when I should shave my face with the other razor, I've never cut myself. I'm usually super careful with the razor and I was being super careful with that and I still cut myself like, so yeah, that thing is nothing to play with. But yeah, I will come back when I'm done. Also, I'll let y'all know how long it took me to take these out too. I started at like 10. So I'll let y'all know what time I finished taking them out. Not taking my braids out, just taking the passion twist hair out of my head. Because I know that's going to be a whole different story, taking all these braids out of my head. And by the way, if you didn't watch my video of me putting these in, I had like 47, I believe, or 48 locks in my head. So I've done one, two, three, four, five doing number six right now y'all see that new growth right there all that okay i'm gonna play some music while i do the rest of these because i'm getting bored yeah i don't want no copyright claims against me 
Now Wally wanna try and be my bestie. All right, y'all, I'm halfway done. So I'll be back when I'm done with the other half. All right, y'all, I'm done. It literally took me, it's almost been exactly an hour, like a little over an hour. That's how long it took me to take them out. So yeah, it's super easy. Yeah, it did not take long to get them out. Now I'm about to take these braids loose, which I know is about to be, it's like 11 something right now. I'm gonna give it to maybe one that I finished taking these braids out, 1.30. Yeah! So I'll be back when my hair is free. Y'all, remember when I said I might be done by like 1, 1.30? <laughs> Remember that? Well, for one, I started an hour later, but guess what time it is? It is 3.10 in the morning and I'm only halfway done. Halfway? This is how far I've gotten. So I have to take out all of these. Looks like I'll be here till six o'clock. So I'll be back. Y'all, it is 5.59. I literally said I see y'all at 6 o'clock. But um, yeah, I just finished taking all the locks out. So this is my hair before getting it done. And yeah, so I will see y'all so I will see y'all on Friday when my hair appointment is and yeah, okay. All right y'all, it is Friday. Y'all, I look crazy. But yeah, I'm finna get ready to go to my appointment. I'm finna leave now. I just fixed something to eat. And yeah, I'll see y'all when I get there because I'm not gonna film in the car because I'm listening to music. I'm not trying to get copyright claims, okay? Also, I may decide if I'm gonna vlog like inside or just vlog like me going and then me just coming out of the salon because I've never vlogged in public like that except the vlog I did in New York. But like, that's like a little touristy thing. And you know, everybody's recording and taking pictures in New York. Like you're in New York. So I don't know, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, y'all, I just got here. I thought I I was lost at first i came to this spot like the first time i came through here and now i'm like two minutes late because i thought it was like on the other side of this because this is like i ain't seen no sign nothing so i thought i was in the wrong spot but i think this is it because i think a girl just came out of here and her hair was done so yeah i'm gonna go in now All right, y'all, I just got out. Look at my hair. I'm gonna have to wait till I get home to show y'all in some better light, but girl, y'all should have seen it when it's completely straight. Ooh, she did her thing. I'm gonna put her booking link, her Facebook, whatever I can find, child, cause she gonna be the only person that do my hair. All right, y'all, I should've took a video while I was out there because none of my curls don't fail. Ooh.
yeah this is my hair after three years of not straightening it and i also got a trim so yeah healthy hair healthy hair oh i'm mad my curls fell because i wanted to film my lookbook tonight i might just throw some curls in it real quick or something because i really want to film my lookbook tonight so yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do my curls to fail y'all but yeah that is it for this video that is it for taking out my butterfly locks and getting my hair straightened after three years so yeah hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe to my channel please and thank you and make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when i post because you don't want to do that you don't want to do that so make sure your post notifications are on and i will see y'all in my next video bye it's that season flexing the silk press for no reason okay bye